Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to talk to you guys about DaVinci Resolve 14 and why it is currently my favorite video editor of choice for both Windows and Linux. It also runs on Mac, but I'm not much of a Mac person. So DaVinci Resolve 14 is a video editor, as you can probably tell by the title. It's gone through many iterations, and in my personal opinion, the current version is very cool. So one of the key features about this is that it's a fully functional video editor in the same realms of other tools like Adobe Premiere and uh, let's say Sony Vegas, except that for basic users, uh, people who don't need to collaborate with other people while editing their video and that don't need all of the special effects. You can actually get the base version for completely free. The studio version where it also includes multi-user collaboration and some extra special effects added on top of everything is $300, which in the scheme of video editors, professional video editors, is actually a lot less than most people. Um, currently, and for the rest of this series, I'm going to be focusing on the free version, DaVinci Resolve 14. That's all I've needed to do YouTube videos and that kind of thing. And it's a really solid tool. It basically has everything you need. So as we're going to be talking about in this series, the actual app itself has five main tabs, which is meant to be a workflow from where you start importing files into editing them um, and then you wrap things up deliver them export them to a file and you can upload that to wherever you need that video file whether that's a youtube video or somewhere else so the five basic tabs just a quick rundown the media tab where you can import files and find them on your local machine or network locations the edit tab which includes the timeline uh, as you can see it has uh, what I would consider to be very important features in modern video editing, like being able to see the audio waves, how loud your audio is, and where um, maybe the person in the video has stopped spoken. You can also see thumbnails of all the different points in time of your video, uh, which is a feature you can turn on and off. Also, you would do things like adding in cuts, video transitions, uh, audio fade ins, fade outs, and titles all in the edit tab. It's basically where you do most of your work. And then later on, if you need it, there are tools for color correction. So you can basically take your footage, change the color in it, make it black and white, all other kinds of things of that nature. But despite that it's called the color tab, it also has some extra functionality, like the ability to add in blur effects and the ability to resize your video clips. On the Fairlight tab, you have access to tools like the mixer, where if you have multiple audio tracks, you can increase or decrease the volume on all of those tracks over here um, by raising and lowering the decibel level on each track. But yeah, once again, you can also record audio straight within the program. Um, and you can actually record video as well. We'll talk about that later on too with this capture tool over here on the media tab. So essentially, if you don't want to use other programs, you don't need to. Just about everything you need is self-contained inside of DaVinci Resolve. And finally, when you're done editing your video, you have the Deliver tab where you export your video, or you can actually just export audio only to different file locations on your computer. There's many different formats and codecs that you can work with. And when you're exporting your files, you're going to be able to have full control over the audio and video of that export, whether you want to optimize for a high quality video that may take up a lot of space on your computer, or if you're just trying to create a quick export, maybe for a test video, or maybe for a video that doesn't need to have a high um, bit rate because it doesn't have a lot of movement in it. And like other major editors, you do have the ability to queue up multiple exports at once. So if you have a lot of projects going on, uh, you could actually queue up everything at the night before you leave the office or before you go to bed and uh, start the render of all those files all at once. Now, if you don't want to mess around with any of the settings, you also have access to uh, basically presets for sites like YouTube, Vimeo, which are the big uh, video sites out there, and other options like audio only if you don't want to have to configure that yourself. So for all the reasons I've stated before, combined with the ability to export videos with no watermark, really no limitations inside of the program, other than you don't have every single feature, um, it makes DaVinci Resolve a really good starting place for people who are doing video editing on any of the major platforms. And in my opinion, probably the best one out there for Linux right now, because a lot of the major players that you see on Windows and Mac aren't actually installable on Linux. So if this video editor interests you, I hope you'll stick around for my uh, complete course on DaVinci Resolve 14. 
and I will see you guys in my future video content.